Hi, my name is Glenda and I am so, so happy to be nominated Becky Dell Music Academy Tutor of the Month for this month. Now, we were hoping to get this interview done in person, but diaries haven't quite coordinated. So instead, lovely Mia has sent me across a list of questions and I'm going to go through them one by one, almost like one of those YouTube videos where they unveil the questions as they go. So without further ado, let's jump into question number one which is, what instrument do you play? I'm guessing this is fairly obvious. Um, I'm first and foremost a professional harpist, but I do also play and teach the piano and the violin. I actually started learning these instruments years before I ever laid hands on the harp, so they've been with me for a really, really long time. Moving on to question number two, we've got, what would you say your greatest strength as a musician is? I thought about this for a little while and came to the conclusion that my greatest strength is listening. It might be my greatest strength all round um, as a human being, but particularly as a musician, it's really, really important to learn to listen, hone your ears and understand what's going on. If you hone your ears and you can listen well, you're on to a good path. After that, number three, we've got who is your favourite musician? This might surprise a few people expecting somebody classical, but actually my favourite musician at the moment is Billie Eilish. Um, I listen to a whole range of genres, but I absolutely love that Billie is um, so innovative, so true to herself, and it's amazing to watch and listen to her style in music evolve over the course of year the years that she's been going right through from Ocean Eyes all the way through to her latest works. She's absolutely amazing. Use your ears, listen, and you'll pick up some incredible things layered through her songs. Number four, we've got, um, what are my hobbies outside of music? So I've got a few. Um, I really love animals and the outdoors. Um, I just love nature and going back to nature. Um, I love cooking, particularly vegan cooking is one of my favourite hobbies. And more recently, and surprisingly, I got into Formula One. So um, highly recommend if you've not watched it before. It's actually a lot more interesting than I initially thought it was. <laughs> and then last but not least, we've got um, question number five. What is my proudest accomplishment as a musician? And I kind of wanted to split this into two. One, proudest moment that everyone think is sparkly and one that's really meaningful to me so my sparkly proudest moment has got to be playing for the Royal Enclosure at Royal Ascot which I've been really lucky to be able to do two years in a row through um, my wonderful agency Euphonica. Um, with that I've got to play personally as a solo harpist for amazing guests like the Queen, pretty much every royal you will ever think of, um, celebrity VIP guests as well. So that's obviously an incredible experience. But my second um, proudest accomplishment is probably completing and getting a first in my final recital at Trinity where I studied. Um, this one's probably less glamorous and I wanted to mention it actually because I think sometimes proudest achievements don't need to be the ones that everyone else thinks are glamorous. Um, it was a bit of an uphill battle for me um, through my music college years and um, getting that first and performing was one of the proudest moments for me because it was difficult to come by. So I just wanted to share that as well because for all of you students out there, you can be proud of those moments that took a lot of grit and determination, even if it's not playing for the Queen. Anyway, those are my five questions. So I hope you've enjoyed getting to know a little bit more about me and um, look forward to meeting your next tutor of the month.